Yeah, don't sound so surprised. This is an awesome recipe and vegetarian and who says vegetarian food can't be exciting and full of flavour and meaty and hearty? Well, not meaty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this is what we've got today. We've got a mushroom curry. We've got these beautiful portobello mushrooms here, some butter mushrooms. We've got some mango chutney. We've got all these beautiful spices in there, cherry tomatoes, and we're going to finish it with some cottage cheese and fresh coriander. It's going to be fantastic. It is intoxicating. It smells incredible. Right, so we, so we fried that. <laughs> here. So a couple of minutes, so all the spices mm -hmm. up, which you can tell. I can tell there's some I've spice got, in there. I got a little bit, a bit of uh, peanut oil in there as well, yeah. just to give it sort of you know, an extra bit of flavour, just a little bit, and then some um, mango chutney. So it's going to give us a nice sort of fruity sweetness to the dish, you know, give us a bit of depth as we're building the sauce. And then so you can just stir that through, just start to um, sort of cook that down like a little bit. Yep. And hey, then, just a quick question, can yep. we... Um, can we add some meat to this if we wanted to? How did I know you were going to ask that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do the same recipe, add chicken in there, even put some bacon in there, leave the mushrooms in because it's, it's a beautiful part of this dish. Oh, nice. Right, and then we've got some coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pop that in, bring that to the boil. Yep. And you can see you can see all that beautiful colour now, oh, and that's, look so at that's it. all going to translate in flavour. We're going to bring it up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it for a little bit. I've got these beautiful cherry tomatoes in as well, which I'm going to pop in. Okay, so and you just halve the cherry tomatoes. Yeah, just halve them, or yep. you can roughly chop them, whatever you want. Half's quite good because you know it's that nice sort of size. As the curry cooks and thickens the sauce, you know the the tomatoes are going to break down into it. You know, give us extra flavour. I've got some lime juice. And then I'm going to chop a little bit of coriander through it, and then I'm going to put the uh, cottage cheese on top, and then we're going to put it in the oven for about you know, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Just to sort of warm through and sort of melt and, and go crisp on top. Well, I'll tell you really what, that great. is pretty speedy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I mean, you probably want you probably want about 10, 15 minutes if you've got time at home. Yep. Just cook it on a low temperature, develop all those flavours in there. But it's going Obviously, to be no, this is a good thing, flavour. Once you've got this cooking, you know, that's when you can go and pour yourself a wine. Have a wee Facebook read. And then, or you look know, after the kids. Look after the kids. <laughs> you know, fantastic. Okay, rightio. So we're just about done here, aren't we? Yeah, that's it. So just a little bit of coriander there. Cottage cheese. So but I'm just going to wait just to reduce it down a little bit so it starts okay. thickening before I put the cheese in and then it goes in the oven. And that is pretty much it. Beautiful, finished. Uh, just popped it in the oven so the cottage cheese is nice and um, crumbly. Oh, look at that. that. Top. Served it up with that rice. Beautiful. A little bit of lime. And there you go, a nice vegetarian mushroom curry. Ooh. Presentation, 10 out of 10.